let's get cooking. I already have some olive oil on the stove heating up. I'm gonna add my spinach. We like to add spinach first. It cooks really quickly, so just be careful. Make sure you watch it. You don't let any much time pass before you check it. All right, we got that saute. Careful, applying oil, not good. Now, because this is an anything goes saute, the reason I call it that, you can add so many variations to this dish. I also like to use black eyed peas. I use a lot of kidney beans, even pinto beans. You can add a little salsa, give it a little Mexican flair, and serve it with some whole grain tortillas. What I also love about this dish is it's very easy to make. It's inexpensive and it's very nutritious. You will absolutely love it. It's a great dish to serve kids because it is nutritious, but it has a great flavor with the tomato sauce and cheese. Next, I'm going to add the cannellini beans. Uh, one can is fine. Uh, just saute that with the spinach. One note about the olive oil. The better the olive oil, it's going to taste better. But you can buy any olive oil at your local grocery store. It should work. Olive oil is really great for you. Um, go through that whole Mediterranean diet that we all love to talk about. With these cannellini beans, I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. You can actually add some fresh garlic if you want to, um, but in the interest of time today, I'm just gonna use the garlic powder. And I'm also going to add a little bit of dried basil. Again, feel free to use fresh basil, but sometimes I like the dried basil just to give it a little kick. Next, I'm going to add marinara sauce. Any store-bought marinara sauce will do. Um, I, you know, I sometimes buy the cheapest brand just to save money. Uh, the more expensive you go, though, it just depends what flavor you like. Um, but you can also buy your own just plain tomato sauce and spice it up yourself and do a little homemade deal there. See, this cooks really fast. You almost have your dinner prepared in no time. And the final step of this anything goes saute with cannellini beans and spinach today is my favorite non-dairy cheese. I don't eat a lot of dairy personally, but if you are a dairy eater, feel free to use any kind of cheese you like. Um, you don't have to even add the cheese. It actually tastes really great without it, but I think it adds a little flavor and a little kick. You know, again, if you're making this for kids and you want to hide the spinach, it, cheese might be a good cover up. The non-dairy cheeses on the market right now, if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, are fantastic. So definitely check those out. Um, and if you want to use regular cheese, I would stick with mozzarella for this dish. But if you're going to do a different variation with black-eyed peas or kidney beans or pinto beans, as I mentioned before, you're going to want to use a cheddar.